What's up y'all, it's Pat from Turnstyle. The technique of the week we're working with is just palm muting. All palm muting, all kinds of palm muting. And the ways you apply it is the foundation of a lot of uh, turnstile riffs specifically and a lot of just metal in itself. And you look at any of the, the harder, scarier riffs that you get. If I played that open, You can just feel it when with your hand placement specifically, you wanna you wanna live you can you can be anywhere because if you're palm muting anywhere, in order for you to get that that best note where you can actually feel the note, you wanna you can carry an entire verse, but in a song, for example, like Turnstiles Generator, it's a uh, it's used three or four different ways. So like the intro of the song, it's just like a catch. when you get towards the end of the song, it starts to ride. And then as it's... So you like build up as you release away from the, the palm mute. You're like, oh, building up excitement, boom, solo. You're still riding the palm mute underneath, but the palm mute part kind of blends in a little easier. You get that dampened note that's still riding. And you know, the, the basis of a lot of turnstile songs in general is the rhythm. Sometimes it starts with the, the rhythm, the drum beat. In the song Don't Play, for example, it's just a So you need something that kind of goes around that. And the, the riff has these layered parts that you, you, have, to, you have to use that palm mute in to catch so it kind of works around the rhythm. So if the rhythm's That's the actual truest mute, you're truly mute. There's these little catches. and you get those catches so it works with like a, a, a nice, the way the snare is hitting and the way you're just hanging on the ride the whole time. You just stay with that beat. And you stay with that beat the whole time and it kind of adds to that element of, uh, all, of the, all of the things living in the rhythm no matter what they're doing. It's that undertone of And this is working around that. That palm mute is helping to, to emphasize just that riding rhythm. Just and it just helps to, to carry it. You know, a lot of songs, you see how it's, it's super easy to, you can have a riff and that can be, the chorus can be a big open part and then you switch to the verse and it's the closed version of it where it's just. Like a, a really old turnstile song, we, the whole song is just open, blue by you. At the end of the song, just to make something different and make something a little more dynamic and really kind of center this focus where you're going, it's all wild and open and there's a lot of open hi-hat too. You cut in and the hi-hat closes and... So that, that part is like, a, it's building this anticipation. So when you get back into that big open part, we live in that dun, 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 closed hi-hat, real staccato. And then when you bust back in, it's just back to It just helps anything become bigger. 
And if you want to use it to make something smaller, it's just the side of your hand. You just rest it. That's the uh, technique of the week, palm muting. Use that hand.